Good day, Wisers. I'm here on behalf of Secret Voices, and I want to talk to you about a book that was very formative um, when I was at high school, a book called Red Dragon by Thomas Harris. Um, if anyone is familiar with um, the movie Hannibal or Silence of the Lambs, they will know the characters in this book as this is set up as a prequel for those. This book was very helpful for me when I was at school because I found it very entertaining, very insightful, um, and it helped me learn more about how people deal with problems in a, let's say, more violent fashion than most people are aware of. Um, I hope you get the opportunity to read this book. I suggest that anyone who's interested in understanding the mind and understanding how people think, who may not be the same as yours, um, and if you enjoy an entertaining crime spree with lots of violence, this book is definitely something for you to enjoy. Um, so what I'd like to do now, I'm gonna read a short excerpt from the book, um, see if you, you're interested, and then uh, if you like it, you can come down to the library and uh, take it out. So, sunset on Sugarloaf, the heron still and the red sun swelling. Will Graham and Molly Foster Graham sat on a bleached drift log, their faces orange in the sunset, backs in violent shadow. She picked up his hand. Crawford stopped by to see me at the shop before he came out here, she said. He asked directions to the house. I tried to call you. You really ought to answer the phone once in a while. We saw the car when we got home and went round to the beach. What else did he ask you? How are you? And you said? I said you're fine and he should leave you the hell alone. What does he want to do? Look at evidence. I'm a forensic specialist, Molly. You've seen my diploma. You mended a crack in the ceiling paper with your diploma. I saw that. She straddled the log to face him. If you missed your other life, what you used to do, I think you'd talk about it. You never do. You're open and calm and easy now. I love that. We have a good time, don't we? Her single styptic blink told him that he should have said something better. Before he could fix it, she went on. What you did for Crawford was bad for you. He has a lot of other people, the whole damn government, I guess. Why can't he leave us alone? Didn't Crawford tell you that? He was my supervisor the two times I left the FBI Academy to go back to the field. Those two cases were the only ones like this he ever had, and Jack's been working a long time. Now he's got a new one. This kind of psychopath is very rare. He knows I've had experience. Yes, you have, Molly said. His shirt was unbuttoned and she could see the looping scar across his stomach. It was finger width and raised and it was never tanned. It ran down from his left hip bone and turned up to Notch's rib cage on the other side. Dr. Hannibal Lecter did that with a linoleum knife. It happened a year before Molly met Graham and it very nearly killed him. Dr. Lecter, known in the tabloids as Hannibal the Cannibal, was the second psychopath Graham had caught. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that. If you want more, please feel free to grab the book Red Dragon by Thomas Harris from the library as soon as you can.